This is Sophie Tran with the Garden Grove TV3 News Report. There's not much need for an introduction because when you see the gyrating hip moves, swooning fans, Cadillacs, tight bedazzled pants, and the hair, you know it's time for the annual Elvis Festival. On its 17th year, organizers decided to celebrate the king of rock and roll at Garden Grove's historic Main Street in front of Azteca, a local restaurant known for its Elvis theme. I'm so glad we had such a good turnout this year because it's brand new in Garden Grove, so we didn't know what to expect, but it, it ended up so good that we're very happy. Of the many Elvis impersonators, 12 finalists who made it past the preliminary rounds hit the stage to prove that they are, in fact, the creme de la king. The king and his fans live on in the city of Garden Grove. Fans of all ages came together through their shared love of one of the most significant cultural icons of the 20th century. I just like the beat of it. I just like how Elvis looks. He does country, he does rock and roll, he has all kinds of combinations of his music. These fans come from near and far. I came quite a distance, almost 400 miles. I'm from San Jose. Those who saw the original Elvis in person were impressed with the competition. I am truly amazed. There's probably about four of them right now I'm looking at, and I'm thinking they really, really have that essence of him singing, stance, his look, and everything. Martin Anthony, would you please come up for the stage? It's a great honor. I, I appreciate the crowd giving me all the props that they give, but these guys on stage tributing the king, they're all amazing. I liked how he shaked his head and his hair got all messy. <laughs> festival also included a car show, Elvis food items, and other activities fit for the king. This is Sophie Tran reporting. Thank you. Thank you very much.